um, you know, starting this episode, I can feel there's a lot of tension, a lot of stiff upper necks and trapped nerves. What's going on, boys? What's the what's the woes of the day? I'm in the process of buying a house, and it's making me want to fucking kill myself with the amount oh, yeah. of documents I need. They're needing like an unbelievable amount of very specific documents that are just like it's just like shut the fuck up and take my stupid money you literal like fucking neolithic troll like why the fuck do we have to have all this stupid shit just doesn't make any sense i thought you already close or is this just bureaucratic odds and ends to finalize it before you can move just because you close doesn't mean like you have to like go through the title company and you have to like provide proof of like all these kind of things just because like there's it's so many different steps besides like and also no i didn't close we just agreed and they agreed to the terms and stuff like that but now it's like goes in the hands of like the title owners and stuff and what do they need for a third party like loan thing or whatever the fuck it is so is this harder than the last time you did it mm, yeah just because the property is more expensive so it's like and also it just seems like the company that is I'm dealing with is just like 20 years behind in terms of like getting e documents. Like they made us like print off and sign a bunch of papers and shit. Does the fact it's a slave house have anything to do with how <laughs> difficult it all is? I don't know. Maybe it was it was built like 150 <laughs> years ago. Don't make too much noise about destroying those historical landmarks, so they might pull out. You know, that's true. That's true. They might do that. Didn't you say there's like a like an old wall in the house that you're gonna uh, desecrate with a TV mount, and they're really precious about it or something. It's like yeah, an old well, they slave being, wall. They were being fucking dicks about like they, they they've been it like the ball's been in their court the whole time. Like I've we've really had like bend the knee to like every one of their demands of like move out dates and stuff and then they like you know we're like talking about what's sentimental and i like literally made a list and i'm going to fucking like completely change burn and desecrate <laughs> every aspect of their memories from this house and like i got their address to their new house too and like they there's like this little structure that their kids made or something and i'm gonna have it fucking tore up and put like a fucking like i'm gonna put like a just like a shit bucket there and take a picture of it and be like hey just putting a new thing here gonna be really fun thanks for the house blah 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 like just really do they do they bullshit. actually really like give you a list of stuff in the house that's not gonna belong to them anymore that is sentimental to them that they want you to keep it is uh in a way yeah because they're like it's like a historical integrity to like the story of this uh house and the land that it's on yeah, which the land that it's on is just like that old story. fucking racist <laughs> bullshit from <laughs> from whatever. Do you think? Because it's kind of a toss-up. Do you think it would anger or please the ghost to tear the slave shack down? Uh, I don't know. I would think that you'd want it tore down, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'd want a monument to my pain. No. And, like, there's a part where, like, the people that live there carve their names into, like, above the door of the house. Oof. And I'm, like, keeping that. I'm keeping oh, that and geez. putting it in, like, a nice garden or something like that because it just feels weird. Or there's, like, a there's a there's a museum that kind of deals with, like, African-American, like, uh, specifically, like, Civil War type stuff. Like, from the era, like, in, but it's, like, around, like, Kansas City. It isn't just, like, a general thing. And I was going to see if they wanted any of it, just to, like, donate yeah, it's to Yeah, it's a tricky one, right? Because you feel like if you were in that position, you wouldn't want the monument to your, you know, pain standing. But also, you wouldn't want it, like, paved over into, like, a parking lot. Well, so that's just, definitely, that's just, like, I a mean, fine listen, line. Listen, yeah, just, to be, well, that's what I'm saying, to be forgotten about. You know what I mean? So the garden, well, the garden's not, probably yeah. there's, the, a, that's, there's that's the, the crux, isn't it? The integrity yeah. of the situation is like be forgotten about, and it's like you're being remembered as like the slave that lived here, or whatever. It doesn't feel as honorable as like potentially like putting it somewhere where you're being honored in like a group like setting. Because it's because I was like, oh well, if I can't find something, then maybe I'll like do something that like in a way honors like the spirits mm. of people that lived here, whatever. Um, 
with like i don't know like i was gonna say like the structure just can't stand like it creeps me out and it's like just like it just feels like this <laughs> giant fucking weird thing um and i just want it tore down like i just don't like looking at it um yeah it's probably fair enough <laughs> but the uh but yeah, it's, there is like something weird of like the people did like carve their names in this thing. Like I don't know, and like it feels weird. I'm like, well, I'll put their, I'll put like the part where they carved it in the house, and I'm like, why the fuck would they want their memory to be in this like old, shitty? Just fucking just house? watching you, just yeah. watching you sitting there watching on your couch, me, fucking... watching me <laughs> drill in a fucking hundred inch TV to my fucking wall, <laughs> playing Apex Legends or whatever the fuck I'm doing with my life. And I'm like, why would you want that? Versus my wife is going to make like a big, like beautiful flower garden. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe it can be, we can put it like somewhere in there. But I'm like, okay, does that read like a creepy tombstone? Mm. That, like I'm way too in my own head about it, but I'm hoping that like, oh, I'll just donate it to this place that's like trying to conserve the history of like specifically the Kansas City area. Um, well, that's uh, in that time. Have, that have seems you, like Have you checked them out? It's a deep South historic thing. Sure, it's not about how awesome you're. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a it's a, it's a oh, black, we'll, we'll it's a black that. run organization. We'll take that for sure. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> it's not like Uncle Ruckus or the fuck the character's name is from Boondock Saints or, or from the Boondocks, wherever the fuck the show is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of uh, talking about it puts puts your your struggles in with the house into perspective, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's just. It's just annoying because I, in so many aspects of my life, and I don't know if you guys can atone to this, in so many aspects of my life, I would say I'm a very calm and, like, rational person when it comes to, like, work, when it comes to, like, like, I feel like I can keep a pretty cool head. Like, yeah, like, I, there's human moments, obviously, that I have where, like, I'm stressed or whatever, but I would say, all in all, I'm a pretty emotionally stable person. I mean, would you, would you agree? From your, the history that we've had. Yeah, more or less. Okay. There was well, one time when we were in your truck <laughs> leaving a restaurant, and you got really mad at a guy walking the road, and I was scared. I thought you were going to kill somebody. What's he? Well, and what, I would well, be well, well, whose fault was it? Did he Did it was, he enrage the driver? It was like or was a, it was, it was, no, it was like a, probably like a deaf old man didn't know where he was. Well, why Walking is he hobbling the... around? Well, why is he hobbling around, Don? <laughs> That's the real question. There was that one time some young girl beeped at you and you, like, tailgated her for three miles <laughs> because is... you were so I, so I, I don't know if that's a liar or not, but that is something that I would definitely do. Well, I don't know if you All right, so yeah, behind the wheel of the car, not. maybe not as <laughs> rational. Well, yeah, so, so I, apart from when you're behind a wheel or I'm when you're potentially the, lying I, 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 to I'm your not, friends. I'm not making a good argument for myself. I guess what I'm saying is that, like, m m I usually feel very calm with things, but when it comes to, like, there's just this one woman. I can't obviously say her name, but there's this fucking one woman who is, like, she's the person that's in charge of collecting all these files. And she's, like, so fucking snobby. And it's... Like, literally, I've been having, like, fucking panic attacks because of the, like, just freaking out over just, like, the amount of shit that I have to do on top of, not only on top of that, but, like, work. And I was like, hey, just to let you know, um, the the cadence of which you're sending these emails is uh, extremely disrespectful for not only my time, but my wife's time and our work and stuff. And she literally responded with, like, a fucking tech, like, it, the acronyms, ID, like, IDC, this is something that needs to be done. And I was like... That night, I had a dream that she <laughs> made, made, made up house. I don't know where she lives, obviously. I had this dream that I was walking up to this house, and I was like, it was almost like, what's it called when it's like you're conscious in your own dreams or whatever? Like, it's like, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like astral projection. It's no, whenever no, it's no, like no. you, you, you lucid under, dreaming. You, lucid dreaming. Lucid, lucid dreaming. dreaming that's yeah, it. it's like you, yeah. you know that you're dreaming, like in the dream, whatever. And I was walking up to the steps, and it was like a fucking like Nightmare on Elm Street movie, dude. I was like, oh my, oh my god! Like I was, I kind of knew I was like, this is where, where I didn't know where I am. I walked inside, and there was just like, uh, this is not a joke. There was like ten or twelve of them, and they're just because in the only re I haven't heard her voice or anything. It's all been through email, but she has like one of those fucking like you know how when people like corporate people have like a picture of themselves at the bottom, like a watermark in their email. Yeah, yeah. 
she has that. And it was just her standing there, 10 of her standing there smiling at me. And I got to go up individually and just rock them all like right in the mouth, dust all their teeth out, fucking just beat the living shit out. It was the most therapy. I woke up with, I've never woken up with a smile before until then. And it was one of the, I wish that every problem I ever had could be thrown into a lucid dream. And you could just mm-hmm. so you, you knew just, you were dreaming. Yeah. No, as soon as I was on the front, it was like a generic house, right? Like any could be anyone's house, right? Yeah. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like I, I was more confused at the beginning because I was like, what is this? And as soon as like I kind of like understood, I was like, oh, this is like a I'm dreaming. Like I remember having I remember that having like that conscious thought of like, oh, I'm dreaming. And I opened the door and it was like a it was like Christmas. It was like at first it was creepy, but I didn't even like really, it was like almost dream logic by that point too, where it's like, you don't even really question shit. It was just an immediate attack. It was an immediate yeah, most, aggressive. Most people's first move is to fly or something, but I, like well, I did. I did. I, you know what I did? It was fight or flight. <laughs> and I did both. <laughs> <laughs> it was me flying my fist directly into her fucking gob. Yeah. But you just start with punching immediately. Um, almost instantaneously, from what I remember. No, <laughs> like the, I could barely. It, it, it's almost, it almost reads like it was just a woman. I just wanted to hit a woman in the face, but and then I, it, it could have been oh, read yeah. like that. But from the recollections of my dream, I really just remember seeing like being like, okay, I know who the fuck you are, and then there's just like ten of them, and it wasn't me being like, why is there ten of you? It was just a fucking a barrage. Did she react at all? She just smiled the whole time. It was very creepy. Okay, huh? That's kind of tight. Like, have a little debate with you. Didn't have a little debate with yourself, like, because you you are in charge now. You can stop her from smiling. Mm. I don't think that I. I don't think I. Well, I've never really had a lucid dream before, so I don't think that the logic. I just the only thing that I know that it was a lucid dream was in the dream. I was just like, oh, You're like I, I consciously was like, th- I'm dreaming. Like I know this is a dream, but it's not like I felt like I had the power to just do whatever. You know what I mean? I, I just knew yeah. it was fi- like m- make believe or whatever. It didn't really feel like I didn't feel like I had the like when you said the, like oh people think about flying. Yeah, I like I didn't have that urge to or I didn't feel like I had that kind of power to do that or something. Maybe you get it with practice or something. Well, I imagine that after a while you must if if, if you're a lucid dreamer, which how how common do you think that really is? I think people can literally train themselves to do it. Yeah, you can cultivate it. If you can, I'm just jealous because tr- every time I've done it, the second I get to the good bed, I wake up. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Is I was doing it for a while, but then it did break midway. <laughs> like almost like almost like in, in a dream where like you're about to get hurt or like a car wreck or whatever the fuck, and you that kind of mm-hmm. jolts you awake. That like impact kind of thing that did still happen, but I, my fucking fists were clenched. Like I could tell my fists were clenched during my dream too because my hands were really clammy, like really like sweaty. <laughs> so I think I was just sitting there in my dream, just smiling like a fucking nutcracker, just like fist clenched, just like smiling did, and couldn't uh, be happier. Did your wife say that you were doing anything in your sleep? No. No. She's like, Hunter, you came like <laughs> repeatedly. The only time I've ever come in my sleep, I, I, I told her I was so happy. I think you've talked about this before. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, saying, oh my God. I babe. wish it would happen babe, again. Wake up. It should happen again. One because I I rarely do any of the laundry, so it's like I don't have to like really even clean it up. And then two, <laughs> and then two, it's like there's seriously no better way to wake up. I made up. a bed. <laughs> well, you got a big day of laundry. Oh, a big you, troll. Huh? A big troll sneezed in my lap. <laughs> the the uh, there's really no better way to wake up than to literally come and then like almost like a vibrato sing you're like <laughs> like wake up like that oh fuck yes i'm awake that's how kind of it's like i i wish i had that level of like i don't know enjoyment of that moment but the last Shit, time I shamelessness happening, i just you know. yeah i just remember like uh, my wife was about to like roll in my puddle and I like stopped oh, her from yeah, rolling in the puddle. T- yeah, yeah, I remember that. You, you yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, because you all... I was like, babe, babe, the, don't the, the stop. The reason, too, no. it's probably... It's more dangerous for you, too, Tom, because you sleep naked. 
Well, yeah, of course. I, yeah, well, that's true. I, I create little fucking obstacles. Yeah, I mean that's that's a self-contained barrier. No, I have I have a nice a nice pair of Hanes and some fucking seven dollar basketball shorts that are always it's, blocking it's the, me, baby. It's the same. It's the same pair every night. It's the exact same pair every the, night. I wash the them in the morning and I put them on at night. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You watch them on one of those old fashioned rags trying to get the fucking <laughs> yeah. out of them. Whatever those fucking machines were, it looks like it's like uh, you basically are scraping cloth against fucking like a soapy bucket with like metal, whatever the fuck that is. It looks like uh-huh. a giant closed yeah. cheese grater. Yeah. Just liters and liters of cum water. <laughs> yeah. It's like seriously, it, it has the exact same texture as like oil in the ocean. It's like that kind of vibe. <laughs> it's got that same rainbow sheen on the top. <laughs> exactly. That's why we always we always do it outside and there's always beautiful rainbows. Leprechauns are running around my yard and stuff. You feel kind of bad about putting it down the drain because you know you're not supposed to. Yeah, so at this point it's like a golden elixir. No, no, not because I don't feel like I should, it's because I'm wasting it. I'm like, there has to be some kind of properties to this. Oh, there's got to be some. This has got to be good for plants. There's some kind of holistic properties that we don't know about yet that we should study. Yeah, just your fucking disgusting Frito cum. Yeah, my fucking yellow cum. I had to Google if yellow cum was normal, and it is. (laughs) (laughs) It's all about the... I think it's all about the amount... You know, if you get a big fucking dollop, the uh, it becomes more opaque. You start looking at it, and you're like, eh, okay. But I literally came one a, time. Yeah. I came one time. I, I, I've Googled so much about my own cum. I'm, like, very happy with the weird aspects of my cum. From my, one of my one of my, my dead nuts, I'm pretty sure, always throws me a curveball every once in a while. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> it just fucking, it poots out something unexplained. Yeah. It's like, ah! It's a, uh... Argh! My, my cum came out, and it was literally like fucking lemon tapioca pudding. It had like little bits of chunkiness to it. And I was like, oh my god. What the hell is this? And it felt great coming out. Like, I, I don't know what the oh. fuck. So I'm thinking that there was like some buildup in the back of like old gunky, like kind of hardened like cum. Curds. That came out. It kind of came curds. Yeah, literally it was though. But it was like tapioca pudding where it has like the little bit of like, you know what I'm talking about? The mm-hmm. like little. Is that like a panna cotta? What's tapioca? What is, like tapioca pudding? I don't know what kind of flavor it is. It's like, how, how would you describe that, Don? Tapioca pudding. I like, just let me have a look at this. Oh, um, gross! Isn't tapioca the same as bubbles and bubble tea, like tapioca balls? That shit. So, I, no, I don't it looks, know what it looks that like is. it's got kind the of boba? like a yeah, like I think a creamy that's consistency. It almost looks like cottage cheese, honestly. It, it, yeah, mm. well, that's the thing is, but it's sweet. It's it's like it's really tasty, but it has like the I'm the sure, crumbliness sure to it. it yeah. You had you had a little bit of fucking feta come out with your goop. Yeah, I thought I was Greek for a moment. Yeah, but yeah, that's vile. That's just really funny though that your dead nut is like trying its hardest to produce something. I feel anything. like it's gonna be. I think it's gonna have a comeback, dude. You see, it's gonna what? It's just gonna come back online. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like a zombie nut. It's just gonna come back to life at one point. <laughs> It's gonna be all purple and like gray. It's gonna it's gonna be like uh it's gonna be like a, the stereotypical like zombie skin in movies. It's gonna look just like that. Like just half of my ball sack is gonna look like that. Shoots weird pink stuff into your load, so it looks like a fucking Cadbury's cream egg. Mm-hmm. Let's get me hungry. Nice. <laughs> me too. I'm always down for them Cadbury cream eggs, bro. <laughs> I don't. I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm. This is probably a controversial opinion too. I. With a lot of sweets and stuff, I hate when people put the pudding or custard and stuff. Like the eggs. I'm not actually not a huge fan of those. Same with like donuts when they put like pudding in the fucking donuts and stuff. I don't Me too. like chocolate. I don't like that I don't shit. Like the, I don't like strawberry filling and stuff, all that stuff. You have like jam jam though, right? Like jam donuts. I guess I guess jam donuts aren't like a big thing in the States. No, not really. Well, no, I mean, I think they're, I think, I think they're, it's I think they're big. I just don't like them. Oh, okay. Yeah, me neither. Because okay. uh, it's like, especially like, I feel like it fucks with like, I just like, especially like a donut like that. I just like the pastry of like the sweetness of that bread. And then when you, when you introduce like the jam to it, I feel like it just ruins it. Like I don't ever really taste any of like the actual doughy like bread or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big big disagree. Those are like the standard donuts in the UK. Like the mm. the kind of donuts you guys are used to, like the Krispy Kremes and stuff. That's like a specifically American style thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It's weird how cum makes you think of all sorts of things, huh? It's weird how it makes you hungry, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, I hate how hungry <laughs> I am right now. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hate every time we talk about cum, my belly starts rumbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, calm down, girl. It's I'll, I'll get you something soon. I, I, truthfully, I wish I could hook up to myself like a self-sustaining infinite energy loop, like that. Mm. Almost like a, almost like a, kind of like what's that, Soylent Green or whatever, but it's just me. It's just me. Yeah. Well, how, well, yeah. Well, how are you, are you talking about? I your don't know. Cum? We're just doing a bit of ping pong, aren't yeah, we? You recycle yeah. your yeah. cum. Okay. Yeah, you fucking you coom in your mouth. It's like a, just a self. Well, I don't know. It's like fucking. New, uh, what is it? Fission reaction. Speaking of uh, speaking of Fusion. your cum too, specifically, Tom. Now uh, that now that the cream crew is back in full action, never to stop again, ever, forever. <laughs> are at your home desk? Are you gonna make your own cum table? Uh, it's no fun if it's just me at it. That's just disgusting. It's kind of fun. It's actually it's actually <laughs> very, very funny. If it's just your if I went into your room and you're like if especially if it was like a resin pour table and you could just see your fucking crystallized cum like on the deal. And it's not like you're actually touching it. It's just oh, it's under the layer. That would oh, be hilarious. Oh, so now it's not a fucking big deal. No, no, no. You're like, if oh, it I was mean, all you know, of us, it's not like you're if touching it was all of us, cum. it would feel a bit a bit weird is what I gotta say. Yeah, but not through logic, just through base monkey reaction emotions. yes but see that base monkey that's how we th that's how we live that's how nations are built no yes that's how nations fall no, nations are built no, with no, logic. no, no. reason <laughs> is the is the reason and it's the enemy yes exactly <laughs> reason is the enemy exactly <laughs> we got to stick to our very primitive oh, roots say, can you see? yeah no i i feel you we do need to bring back uh masculinity i agree but it does not start with me coming in my own table because there is no brotherhood bond in that there's no brotherhood so it's uninteresting to me <laughs> if i uh, all right put it like this right if king arthur is the only one at the round table is it still is the legend still born absolutely if it's his kingdom I, and it's and if it's a fucking king arthur kingdom of what dude kingdom of what if you don't have what it, you don't you, you don't look at your own house as a kingdom you're not the king of your own castle yeah, but if there's no one there to enjoy it with you, dude. Oh, but see, is, that's the that? thing. That's the thing, though, Tom. That's where you're wrong is because y you enjoy it. You get a lot of enjoyment out of when people do visit the kingdom. It isn't about the it isn't about the everyday squalor. <laughs> it's about when people when you get to have you get to throw on airs for visiting kingdoms. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Lay down the cum infused fucking table. Cloth. It's, it's, it's just like a dark wood and there's just blast around the <laughs> just, keyboard exactly <laughs> it's just a big white fucking creamy blob right there i bet you're wondering what that is <laughs> that's such a great reveal and the thing too is there there's always a little bit of level and there's a little bit of level of disgust and humor with every time you sit down to work <laughs> think about think about every struggle you've ever had, like writing or doing anything like that. But then you look down and there's just a big blob of your cum forever right there. I feel like it'd be hard to not just kind of crack a smile at yourself. And especially that could have been cream crew. No, no, no. That's cream, what you deny. If, if I had to be around yeah. your, if if the desk was your, cum, I'm saying that it is funny because it's your own cum. It's kind of like whatever you shit your pants. It's kind of like whatever you shit. If you shit your pants, you fart in public. No. You don't mind the smell because it's funny. Versus if somebody else. Shit their pants. It's disgusting. <laughs> I think if I shit, my I don't pants, think I've ever. And I'll be honest, right now, I'm operating. My mind is operating on levels that has never operated on before. I can't. I don't think I've ever made such a crystal clear case. <laughs> you, uh, you were in a, you know, in a bad spot back then, and you maybe couldn't see the merits of cum table. But I'm glad I, you're finally I, coming around. I'd, to I'd it. hate to. Well, no, no, no. I think that I'd hate to admit it, but I think that that the cum table conversation was the catalyst to start the mental fucking demise that I had. And I think now I see the, <laughs> the, the merit in the cum table at one's own respected desk. Now see what would be funnier, a community of cum table or the fact that we each at our respective offices have a little bit of, of our own cum in our desks. It's the, I vi think the visiting kingdom thing could not be a better cum. analogy. If we had each other's cum, in our table. No, no, I think no. that would be way better. That's 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 too intimate. I that's that that makes me very like that. We're I'm a, afraid dude, of that. We have been through so much together. I'm afraid of that. You can't. It's you only can't it's only funnier now. A it's, of it's, cum for me. It's only kind of funnier now because of like the distance that we're gonna be. So it's like, 
to think that like Don's come would be thousands of miles away from him is kind of funny. And not like a sperm bank either. It's just like in a coffee table or something like that. It's just kind of funny. Yeah, dude, it'd be it'd be like our, our version of the Palantirs. I would could, I would we accept. We could like put our fingers on it and contact each other. You know other. what? I'll bend the knee a little bit, Tom. But you got to bend the knee back. I'll bend the knee at. It can't be on top, but it can be in one of the legs. I I like the uh, metaphorical nature of that. So I, th- I, I I think it's funny. I acquiesce. Yes. And the whole idea if, too uh, of being able to. Be like, Hold up your friend. But have you have a it's a nice coffee. It's eight a.m. in the morning, right? You have somebody over. Maybe it's an electrician. Hey, let me show you something. You walk across the deal and you kind of like perch down. You kind of do like a, a catcher squat. You're like, take a look at that right there. The guy, what it? What the hell is that? Yeah, it's cum. It's cum in the. Uh, you in the say finish. you're a contractor. You work it out. Go on, guess. guess yeah, exactly. What, what do you think that is? Go ahead, it's a little scratch and sniff. What's that smell like? Have you ever seen that material before in your uh, trade? God, it looks so familiar. Not in a trade, oh, but in crazy. my life somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pe- oh. Keep, keep, keep digging. I, I think um, we come, we all come in a communal table, and mm. if you don't want to ever be at that communal table, that's fine. But I'll have it, uh, and we also come in each other's tables so that we have that camaraderie. <laughs> it can be in the legs, but I also think a little. Sprinkle throughout. Here's the top, here's the thing the though, Tom. Shell. Who's going to be the person to collect all of the cum and put it in there? God, we have people to do animation for us. We have people to make thumbnails. We have people for everything. I, you but but you to, can... to, that that level of trust though, who would you trust with such a task? That's true. I wouldn't want them to put it up their snaz and try and make. Well, that's the thing. You baby. literally you couldn't. I mean, there, there there's a that's a good point. So it'd have to be a man, but then how do you know he's not going to put it up a lady? I don't know. I feel like maybe you would have to, uh, you would have to, you'd have to, you know those guys who walk with the briefcases and like the, the armor on when they're transporting like suitcases of money? Yeah, like Brinks. Like, are you talking about like the Brink deal where it's like the armored trucks and they go pick up money from banks? Well, I'm just, I don't know if you got it in the US, but in the UK you'd see people like walking money and suitcases from like a bank to another bank and they'd have like fucking armored helmets and like <laughs> they have full knight's armor armed. they still do that it's basic like, like basically not practical at all because of all the fucking orcs everywhere who are trying to twat them over the head but i'm just saying if maybe if you that service exists for banks so maybe we could just appropriate it for cum table and if they're wearing body cams and stuff you can always kind of keep track of it well i think you just you just mix it into the uh blacker there you know yeah, well, Don's Don's really the uh, you know, and you get the a technician. You get a, you get a contractor that can't speak English too well, can't really read the contract, but you know, and put it all like, in the fine print. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. Yep. Take take that. Use this K? finish. I like what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be a shame though, because you lose the marbling. You know, I think Hunter's gone. Oh, no, no, I'm here. I'm just the, my, I'm getting email. No, no, no. I'm still here. I'm I'm oh, observing you're just and getting listening. Emails. I I literally am getting bombarded by this woman who plagues my dreams <laughs> and this, and she's she's literally destroying me right now. I'm this dead is, inside. Hey, take a little break, little hour with the boys. You know, maybe turn the emails off. I I can't. I'm I, I'm trying to. Did you say she emailed you? IDC. Like I don't care. Yes, that's what I'm fucking, saying. I like that's kind of it's kind of fucking wild, and I I don't I'm skeptical that that just falls out of the sky, you know. Actually, some... I'm starting to be skeptical it even happens in the first place. It's mm. Another one of Hunter's porky pies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? I yes, do I have a, I have a history of, of 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 conjuring quite the fib. All right. Yes. <laughs> but I would say that. As of late, I have I've had no reason to. I don't get it, that much enjoyment out of it anymore. What reason now, did see, you ever have? Now what's funny? Now what's funny about that is that's actually a lie. I still get a lot of enjoyment out of it, but I haven't been doing it lately. Yeah, yeah. We started this uh, conversation with you, you telling me, reminding you, you told me that you chased a woman in a car for for miles, like true. looking at the window at her, <laughs> making her scared for her existence. And uh, <clears throat> then I think it's a lie. You're like, I don't remember. That could be a lie. But th- this is the point is um, I don't know anything you say is true or not. Well, don't know what to tell you. Can I see your picture? Yeah. Actually, I'll, actually, I'll, 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 copy, I'll copy and paste it and put it into, BC, into BCC us. Just BCC us into all the emails. 
<laughs> so stupid. That'd be so fucking weird. Hey, who are these guys <laughs> CC'd on here? Don't worry about it. No, no, yeah. no. It's a BCC, so they can't see us. Here. Here's the, the deal in general. general <laughs> chat. Oh, man. Perfect. Wow. She does have a punchable face. Yeah. She's got she's got a sort I'm I'm not even a I'm not even a woman I can tell her that her haircut is not suiting the shape of her face. <laughs> Stylist Tom comes in and says Alright, so her hair is totally has to change. I'm no, I mean, he's, crazy. he's right though. It's like if it was her hair needs to be bigger, you know what I mean? Oh no, I mean like listen. She her looks hair like a missile. Like, it's like it's like a fucking Lego cap. <laughs> Her hair is like a Lego cap. On her she head, looks like but... fucking murder face from Metalocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that's how she talks to. If I ever called her and be like, hello, she'd be like, hello? I don't care. <laughs> did, you get the, did you get the tax documents in yet? Uh, poor soul. She Fuck does, her, she not does... poor soul, bitch. Oh, yeah, she poor. looks like the kind of woman who would, who would just fucking bombard you. Oh, mm -hmm. God, it's been the worst, dude. I'm telling you. I imagine her husband doesn't lead a very... There's no existence. way she's married. There's no way. Oh, you don't, you, you just got to be breathing as a woman to get married. I don't think it's like that big of a I think challenge. that that's the case for 99%. I mean, I just think just she is so nasty that I think a guy would be like, I mean, maybe, I, maybe, maybe he gets physical a little bit, but then she like gives really like toothy blowjobs and he's like, I just can't. There's just no way. I can't. And then she like forces him to completion there and it feels like borderline sexual assault and then he leaves. Has to just makes him sign a bunch of paperwork. Yeah. Sign these papers. <laughs> what? <laughs> just you, got, you gotta sign them. You have to I sign? I, I'm not You're doing not, anything. I'm not IDC. I I'm not letting you leave until you sign these papers. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm, I'm just, I'll, I will physically move you then to leave. And she's like, I'd like to see you try. And she just beats the <laughs> shit out of him. Like. <laughs> she's like, you're in the wrong doghouse to think that you're going to take down Mama Bear like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> she gets out a big fucking, big bag of fucking blue ribbon kibble and just pours it all over the floor. She's like, eat it, dog. <laughs> Eat it. She's You're so confused. Mutt. She can't keep track of whether she's the dog or he's the dog. <laughs> no, no. Then, then she goes or, over. Or she bear. makes herself. She makes herself a big cartoon Tom and Jerry steak and eats it. She's like, "This is what the big dog gets." <laughs> <laughs> ah, we got to include a picture of a person that. I'm not going. There's no way. No, 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 like, no, no. You just you find you someone that out. is an approximation. Not this woman. But yeah, 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 like a stock photo of someone who reminds you of this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. A similar. I, 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 yeah, and that, that's kind of funny. <laughs> when people are like, you're like, oh, God, I kind of wonder what she looks like. I just kind of like, because th there's, there's a billion people that look just like this woman, I'm pretty sure. There's like, she is, uh, yeah, yeah. she's got, she's got like, uh, stout, you don't hate the German most, though. woman vibes. You don't hate the mo most, not her fucking, not her disgusting Christmas rosy cheeks. Whatever the fuck she did with that. <laughs> looks like a goddamn clown. It's ah. the her smile has like it almost looks like her bottom lip is folding underneath her teeth. So yeah, it kinda looks I like see. she's doing like a stereotypical buck tooth Chinese thing. Whenever people do that. She looks like no, that no, uh that that sculptor guy on Instagram. He bought some of his work. Like one of those characters. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm trying to think. Sculptor on he, the he makes he makes like weird toothy uh, faces oh, out of clay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. and they like all some, look... Some, some of the art from that, yeah. They all look just like this, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So anyways, you guys should sign up to our Patreon and you'll get this woman's face <laughs> and email address. <laughs> Post it in the you'll episode notes. You'll, the get, exclusive. You'll, you'll get her personal cell, <laughs> her email address, and a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fucked. I just have like a lawyer email. <laughs> it's just me to get contacted by the authorities. So that seems like there's a hate campaign going against this person. Is that true? I'm like, mm, that doesn't seem like something that we would do. 
<laughs> yeah, you just get the judge in the room with her for five minutes and they'll fucking okay it. Yeah, oh god, never mind. Just drop the case. Drop it. Drop the case! Quick! <laughs> <laughs> if you drop the case, the, the big dog's gonna come out. <laughs> <laughs> the big dog's gonna come out the kettle. The big like, dog get ready to get out of the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> every time she every, every time she fucks a every time she fucks a guy she, she makes it uh she's always like she calls it like taking herself for a walk i got a uh, why i gotta take myself for a walk she's like the guy's like what are you talking about and she just like slowly slips off her fucking her giant hanes whitey tidies that she has on <laughs> scoots across the floor backwards and forwards mm. I'm getting kind of half half bricked up here, boys. <laughs> Scooting across the floor, there's just a fucking huge shit stain because she's a dog <laughs> and doesn't a wipe her ass drag of shit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The big dog likes to make a big stink in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the judge her just sends her to jail. It's her <laughs> <Yeah>. lawsuit. <laughs> The judge, the judge sends her to a fucking kill shelter somewhere, <laughs> like in the fucking. Just some vet, some vet just puts like six syringes into her neck. All right, go to sleep, girl. <laughs> That's a very good you go. In here. <laughs> oh God, she's alive! <laughs> you think that's gonna honestly take down the big dog? <laughs> just like the way that she refers to herself as the big dog is so creepy to me. It's like Can such a, it's such a like uninspired take for like a nickname. <laughs> it's like that's what, that's what she, makes it we, so haunting. What if we? What if we? Okay, we use the photo of her, but we Photoshop the elements to almost put them in a new arrangement whilst keeping the spirit of what she looks like. No. Oh. No. I can't have I can't I have know. any of the original photo. So, so you can do a little search by <laughs> image on Google. What? Okay, yeah. just, I, just the smile. Just the smile. No, no, no. Literally slap, no remnant slap of the original. the smile on a I, different I, I, I just like woman. I just like the uh I just like the idea of the complete look alike stock photo thing to where it's like you kinda get the picture, but it's not really her. <laughs> We yeah. could uh, we could yeah. take a stock photo and then use Liquify to get the features to line up, you know? Do a little 50% transparency thing. <laughs> Just... <Yeah. laughs> I don't That's know. kind of a good idea, though. I will say yeah. this. I did actually, speaking of Liquify, you guys were making me think of when we showed the um, Linda's Bob Burger art. On, yes. you know, we, we had it censored, you know? Yeah. And the new, it, whenever I am at my new place, when I record, I will have that in frame forever so people can see it. That is <laughs> How? Gonna, it's going to need yeah, we're a gonna, pixel Just take mosaic every time? or What do you mean? The, well. You know, monetization. I don't think that it would get picked up, really. I think a human would see fucking Linda from Bob's Burgers being <laughs> we'll cross that bridge twice. when we get there I don't think we're going to have many reviewers <laughs> there for it I, I think like the, the the size that we're at we're going to be dealing with mostly bots and if the bots can't really understand what's going on I think it'd be fine oh I see for train trip right yeah no mm. no this is a terrible idea why I no I think I think what you do is you yeah you just censor it you just go like a little but you don't have to like do a big mosaic blob we could do some fun like a uh, tinky heads over the bits or Why something. Every yeah, yeah. I just yeah. I, I thought that it would be a nice. I thought that you guys were going to be very excited with that well, idea. We're, we're we're actually going to lose episode sixty nine through ninety nine. I I just that. remember I just remember when you first did that we respected your wishes of not sending anyone what it actually was but we absolutely encouraged our discourse to try and like yeah for photoshop to like get rid of the a the few days they were trying you know, various desperately uh, desperately filters and algorithms to <laughs> to try and clean the colors. It up so they could see it yeah. It, it took an embarrassingly it. long time for somebody to just grayscale it, and then you could see it like perfectly, you know? Yeah. Well, I've always wanted to do, which maybe that'll be a big, maybe that'll be a uh, a big thing we can do is the, uh, wonder if we could do something where like the first episode or the first Patreon post will do like a, a nice, a nice high res image of it. 
The only problem <laughs> is I don't want to do a nice high res high res image of it. I just want to do like because I don't want anyone else to print it off and have it. Yeah, it's gonna I'm happen. Sel I'm selfish for that. That's why I was like, <laughs> want to do a I want to do a breakdown video where I get to kind of control the speed and the angles of which it's shown to where if you do print it off, it's really shitty. You know what I mean? Even even having the original wouldn't be enough. Well. I don't know what to tell you. Because, like, we could sell prints of this, you know? Well, I don't want other people to have prints of it. Okay, well, fair enough. This is a gift from a friend to another friend. And that's special to me. Yeah. <clears throat> I still have the... um. What you call it, my notes that I did the original sketch on, and it was like a grid projection onto the bigger thing. If you give them that, maybe it's kind of fun. I think I'm going to frame it and hang it up right here somewhere, too. Don, I, did I, you ever get... Sorry, I was, did you ever get up to date on presents for Hunter? Or are you still, like, in the in the red? I mean, I think this is more or less it, because it, it was originally a commission, but I don't want money for it, and it, you know, I probably spent like two hundred dollars in materials on it and you know <laughs> but but how, how how many of my copics did you fucking burn through though <laughs> no i replaced them yeah what that, you gave me no 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 you did not there I was no replacements you... of markers mm. not that i well, even asked i didn't even ask well not two hundred dollars tell you that no, two hundred dollars. I th I think uh, there was like one that died on me that I had to replace. You got a fresh marker, and then whatever percentage of the other markers I went through. But you know, it would have been like, you know what? I even, I didn't even, I didn't, I, I didn't even think of it. I didn't even think of it because I was so happy with the product. I was so happy that that this was given. Also, he gave me the mermaid from the lighthouse, like the sculpture of that too. That was another one he did. Well, it was a okay. Christmas present. But, but yeah, uh, I'm not. I, I'm not trying to cheat here. You know. But, well, yeah, I just no, want to I say always, that, um... you know, just because my generosity and Tom's generosity outshadows Don's doesn't mean that he isn't totally hey, you unthoughtful. Know what? You know what, bitches? Money is well, less valuable to all three that's of us that's, that's uncalled for. than time. And I spent more time on that fucking thing than any of you have spent on any of... Any of us on anything. The, the time, the time that I had it's to probably, work. Probably the, time, like... the, the time that I had to work <laughs> to get the money that I do to buy the things that I do for you mm -hmm. is a lot of fucking time as well, Don. Ah, uh, the grand scheme of things. What about all the time spent chasing up after the gift and also thinking about <laughs> Ooh, the that's gift true. that never came angrily? That is Does true. That There's time that builds up that as well. <laughs> 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 how much how much you make a year hunter about 10 million dollars something no. like that I, I wish 10 million if I, how much, how much if, I, if i made 10 10, 10 million dollars if i made 10 how much if i made 12 genuine slave house by again? four all right that's two hundred thousand dollars a week <laughs> and you, you do work hard you probably work like dollars a week probably if, work I made, like if i made 10 million dollars so a so year i would be flaunting that so hard all right so i'd be like oh god it's so right, hard so making two hundred thousand uh, dollars a week that's about two thousand six hundred dollars an hour and my beautiful bison statue that you bought me, I think, is worth eight hundred dollars. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry so that my, that my two hundred uh, thousand dollars a week is uh, that's something about thirty that... minutes of your time just for me. Thanks, man. You know what, dude? But it. That's but my weight. When people look at my time, they see gold bars. When they see your time, they see fucking nickels. What what you're not what you're also not taking into account, Don, is Hunter is going to have a heart attack at about thirty five. That's so absolutely have as much time. true. Absolutely right. true. This time so is more time valuable, is, perhaps. Is worth, yeah, it's worth more because <clears throat> right. he has less Yeah, but so it. am I, blatantly. I think that, I think like that if you, I think that, I think that because I've got of, some of kind of, worry of, of some malignant tank. bone cancer probably growing that's just going <laughs> to spring on me. You're going to have had since birth. You're, you're slowly turning into a bird. All of your bones are starting to hollow out. <laughs> 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 Little holes, yeah. Be I feel like its head any day. I feel like your body doesn't have the energy to build up a malignant cancer that metastasizes. Well, I don't know. I, I, it's been it's been pretty sprightly about all its other ailments, you know. 
So I did. I did find it funny how you discovered you've had a ten-year like infection that your your immune system fought to a sa- standstill, but never, never like it never lost to. Mm-hmm. But it, but it never like knocked <laughs> out either. It's just it's just that a stalemate <laughs> with this fucking like nose infection. Yeah, that's another important uh, cream crew update for you guys. So that throat clearing that you've been making fun of for years, all of you, yeah, was the result of probably I want to say a thirteen or fourteen year long sinus infection <clears throat> that was just eating away at the inside of my nose for over a decade, and I'm. Uh, Started to get that sore out, and I haven't cleared my throat too many times in this recording. I think, maybe. Gonna need a hope. tally. Yeah, I'm gonna look at Let's get a let's get a let's get a uh, let's get a counter up, and then let's also get a counter up from like, I don't know, episode twenty. Yeah, let's you know make uh, the editor's yeah, job just yes. fucking impossible. Hey, you know it's it's no one said it's an easy job. It's part of the content. That's true. No That's what makes the show true. entertaining. We we go the extra mile i i almost don't believe uh in your 10-year infection i know it's i know it's 95 percent probably real but part of me just believes it's fake news could be could be it could just be it just sounds made up you know like mm-hmm. i've had a 10 a 15 year infection like... it, do, it does it does sound rather fantastical and my my brain may have just invented the infection and then manifested the symptoms accordingly and confused my doctor, and I genuinely don't discount that possibility. But yeah, that's where I'm going You're like, with remember right that now. time where where cordyceps started growing out of my my brain, and I had to travel across Boston. You remember, how, you guys how, remember how, that? How, 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 mm-hmm. se- how severe really was that, though? We because you guys, you got you guys informed me uh, d- Tom's thing because you informed me that all of your old vlogs are lies. So I don't know if it's did you play that up for the story. Oh, no, no, Tom, what Tom was doing there was trying to compare The Last of Us to Bob's Burgers, because I oh, thought that man. Bob's Burgers episode happened to me at one time. Um, <laughs> what is, Hunter uh, was doing there what, was not paying attention and then trying to re-enter the conversation uh, when he got uh, done with his fucking emails. I he, am, was, he was that, busy that's, emailing... That's partially true. That's partially true. Steph- the- Stephanie Hirsch at <laughs> Kansas City Real Estate. <laughs> at hotmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at angelfire.net. The uh <laughs> No, I I I can I can barely fucking keep up. I can't fucking it's like cutting in and out for me a little bit, but I don't want to be like, "Stop, wait, what did you say?" I'm trying to piece it together. I apologize. Okay, more lies from the vine. Okay. Um anyways, no, uh everything in show quest is 100% true except for the thing we talked about that uh the fans don't get to know about. That's and, a Patreon oh, perk. Yeah. Find out what was the live show quest. Go. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Patreon perk. How much? Did, oh, you, should we? How much are we charging for the pay? Actually, let's let's use the last little bit, like ten minutes or whatever we have, or whatever the fuck, how long ever we're recording. I want to talk. What what does this Patreon look like? Let's break it down for the folks. All right. So one tier, five bucks, bonus episode, juicy secrets and gossip and lies from our extended careers. Uh, Bob's Burger from angles that are hard to print. Five dollars. I don't know what it's five dollars. Five dollars not worth anything these days. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Hell yeah. One bonus episode. What do you think? Thirty dollars one bonus episode. This is okay, but but break it down in a reasonable manner. I mean, realistically, manner. It's probably the, the, an, realistically the new standard for people that are making new pages now uh, is like the one tier at like five bucks. Yeah, okay, but or whatever, it's like but... the same length as a fucking movie. So how much is a movie ticket? 15 bucks. Then yeah. you get popcorn. Then you get soda and you get mm. candy. Now we're up to like 40 fucking bucks. There's gas to and from. We're giving you that value without having to leave your goddamn chair. That's not worth 30 bucks? I think that you could convince people 30 bucks if we if, if we had some kind of video that was only on Patreon that's like, uh, Tom, if you jacked off to completion on camera. <laughs> I will never be an e whore ever. <laughs> it's I have where, you, you'll never be. Standards. You'll never be an e whore, but yet you just you respect them so much business wise. No, I respect one of them so much business wise. <laughs> you don't have any respect for any of the other ones. Not really. E whores are a dime a dozen, but only one of them captivates me with her creativity and <laughs> and business prowess. It is kind <laughs> of fair, even the uh, the standout ones. They're very derivative of the one and only 
Oh, you know? yeah. I mean, there's going to be copycats for sure. With any successful mm-hmm. business, there's going to be copycats. That's just... But there's yeah. only one Coca-Cola, baby. That's all I'm saying. And uh, if you happen to be watching, give me a follow. That's it. I won't ever DM you. I won't ever talk to you. I won't even acknowledge your existence. I'm a happily married man, but I just want that followed. I want that little fucking follows you. That's it. I would love to hear that you got a follow from her and then that you did nothing. And, and, just, uh, and just a immediately try to... Immediately try to DM her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh Such my god! A fan. <laughs> hey, do you reckon we could like get on a call and like talk about analytics? I just yeah. want to like break down because what you do is like super effective. <laughs> I'm just, just really I'm just researching our field. You know, we gotta stick together. We gotta circle the wagons. We gotta talk to each other. <laughs> circle the wagons. I, I would. I would protect her from many an engine. I tell you. <laughs> I'd get my fucking Winchester out and I'd see them them sons bitches on the horizon. I'd be like, Kaba! Kaba! Yeah, that's uh I, I, that's fair. But that would that would make me laugh really hard. Especially with the whole uh the the, the whole the whole idea of like the whole idea too of of that surfacing and then like becoming a thing would be so so weird to see. It'd be very funny. What? Me me hunting indians on the plane or no 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 just just like DMs. the just you like there's a screenshot that she put on twitter <laughs> and it was like 12 like unresponded yes. messages do you but know it- how fucking like <laughs> horrifically desperate and and fucking insane you'd have to be for her to to be surprised enough and taken aback enough to post that's the DM. true that's mm. true you know there's a there, there, you have to oh, i'm not you, saying you, i can't you muster have to, that you have that to commend level. you have to commend that kind of discretion too can you imagine the unruly shit that goes through that like i that, mean and, holy shit i mean i can't even imagine yeah. well i wonder how much of it too you're just like i can't even keep up like what am i it would be nothing it'd be the, that'd be the only thing i ever post if i tried to you know like put them all on blast or whatever like that it would fill up the fucking. Yeah, there's there's no way. Yeah. Well, also, also, it's gotta, that's you, gotta, that's, also, gotta hurt, that's gotta hurt you your only, finances too. It's gotta hurt you your finances. You only ever blast yeah. the uh, the big boys, you know. You only ever blast the ones you don't think are cute. So I think right. I'm safe, boys. Oh, I thought you were no, talking no. about you, you. only blast the ones that are the verified accounts, like the 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 ones that have okay. social precedence. All right, there's no need the, to the fucking ones, hurt my feelings. Yeah, the ones that have, yeah, shows and stuff. You know, I can I can. I can buy verification now. Well, I meant like I, 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 not, not that. I meant, I meant like a big, like a you know, <laughs> the big YouTube and stuff like that. I, the verified thing is just that doesn't. It's not applicable anymore. But, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So you're basically fucking saying that I'm not big enough to. No, 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 I'm saying that you are. That you would be. Delphine. That you would be the one that's like, oh, look at this guy. This big YouTuber's messaging me, messaging me this, versus fucking like Johnson from you know, that works at Jiffy Lube in Florida. Like, what does she have to gain from blasting him? Yeah, I mean, I you're just you're shaming saying. your clientele. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Versus yeah. if you do it to the if guy who has a big social... Yeah, then you have... Yeah. Then, then it's like a story. And the, and the rest then of it. them can... Even that, though they're exactly the same. 10,000 like, followers what on Twitter. fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Oh. She would never do that to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, is that, that, that follow would... <laughs> I think it would destroy your life, honestly. <laughs> God, my she, that ba- baby would never do that to me. She would never, dude. She's not a she fucking bitch. She would never, ever treat me that way. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. She knows what's good for her. <laughs> God, that's so gross. God. <laughs> that made me so fucking sick to my stomach. Holy shit. <laughs> she, she knows what's good for her. She does. She knows what's good for us. She wouldn't do nothing. I was gonna ask you guys, what kind of uh, what de- what kind of deodorant do you use? I uh, try not to, which should come to the surprise of no one. I use charcoal shit. Can't remember what it's called. Yeah, me too. Me it's too. called like can't something cannon, and I yeah, I only use it when I think I'm a stink. But my problem is uh, I'm sort of trying to eat beef every day, and I've never stunk more in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I can't ever once in my life. I used to eat plenty of beef. I can't remember <laughs> once in my life eating too many burgers and just fucking reeking. No, yeah, no, no it's, the, it's the meat sweats. That's where the meme comes from. Is Look, the meat sweats? It's it's I, a real thing. It's it's know, a specific boys. acid that's in beef that uh, turns up in your armpits, and you literally smell like beef. 
It's gross. It's good stuff. I smell dude. like my lunch. Yeah. That's what, I bet, that's what I bet men women smell like. Fucking love it. Oh, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Can you imagine <laughs> being in like the <laughs> Depression era America, like the 30s or whatever? And that's then, true. And, though. A guy, and a guy smells like beef. <laughs> you, you would be salivating. Yeah, you'd be like, oh my god, this guy's got enough money to fucking stink. He, he was able to, to eat a burger? Like a... <laughs> yeah, he smells like wild beef. <laughs> Can I have a burger? <laughs> mm, maybe if you follow me back to my apartment, then maybe. That's what I imagine a lot of New York people sounded like in uh, 1930s. I was a little too British, unlike it. I was trying to get the. It. I was trying to get like New York, yeah, the, uh, the like... transatlantic thing. Yeah, it's just yeah, little... I can't do it. Mm. I can't really. do That it. accent's sick too. I wish we still talked like that. <laughs> Is it sick? I don't. I don't know if I would necessarily I think say so. sick, but you know. No, nah, it's. I just. I wish I. <laughs> no, nah, it's awesome. It's. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> I, I said it and it's true and you're contradicting me and no one agrees with you. You know it's sad but true. Da -da 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 -da. I've been listening to the... No, you, you, never, you ever see like a, a 50s like documentary thing and the narrator just sounds awesome? Well, yeah, it's like you trains. Just, trains just, are always yeah. the ones uh, to, to go across the country. Of course, that's, well, that's what uh, mommy and daddy are for. Kind of deal. Yeah, you just they, sound they, they, they handsome right now, dude. You sound handsome. I sound like I a fucking nerd. Eyes. No, no, no. It's like, it's back in the day, it's like businessmen just sounded autistic. That's all it sounds like. It's just like, it's just like a very weird kind of like autism. It's like autism no, with confidence. That's, that's all it is. It's you, autism with you're confidence. You're mistaken. That's, that's the, that's the autistic guys that wear fedoras trying to do that accent. Imagine the same voice. Imagine this that's voice true. coming out of a guy that has a fucking like, a, like a, a, a red polo on. It has like a little bit of like mustard from a sandwich he ate earlier. He's wearing fucking cargo shorts and sandals, and he walks up and he hasn't showered, and he has big fucking, big thick Smells rim like glasses. And he sat there and he was just like, he's like, one of my favorite things to build is, uh, one of my favorite things to do is build Legos. Legos are from all kinds of, you know, like talking to you about that in some kind of, uh, like. I'm kind of sold. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy a lot. <laughs> you like that a lot? Oh my god, he's so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, your accent is so cool. <laughs> I wish we still spoke like that. Dude, honestly, that's such a callback. That's sick, dude. Well, yeah, you can't do it now. You know, it doesn't it doesn't work anymore, but to live in yeah, that you time, have to, fit to in be amongst culture. that golden age. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. You wouldn't you wouldn't go back in time and live in the fifties when everything still made sense. Yeah, just to sound like Donner from Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Be sick. Now listen here, boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. You just want just a you just want a strong talk, father just, figure. Yeah, just talk like that unironically all the time, <laughs> and like the smack fit. little kids that aren't my kid, and it's okay. You know? <laughs> exactly. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there! Yeah. He was looking at me funny. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Isn't that kind of crazy? You used to literally just be able to go and fucking beat on other people's kids, <laughs> just... and they'd be like, "Well, you, what were you doing?" The mom would be like, "What did Jerry do?" He looked at me yeah, funny. Exactly. He stepped on my shoe. <laughs> well, Jerry, why'd you step on the man's shoe? And then she slaps him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a fucking what a what a time. That's a that's time original human community. That's that's how we're designed, you know. It's supposed <laughs> that's, to that's... all the adults kind of raise all the kids, <laughs> smack yeah. the shit out of them. Yeah, you we've lost I, something. I, it's uh, I'm glad I didn't grow up in that time. I was watching a video of uh, I was watching a video of like 20 year old dudes at a GameStop for when the uh. PlayStation 2 came out and they were like picking out games. And it's so funny that those autistic gamer guys, they're they've been the same forever. It's unbelievable. I was like, usually you think like, oh, maybe internet culture has defined like what like nerdy autistic guys are like today. You know what I mean? Like the whole milady thing, all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um no, it was like these guys standing there like, oh, this one's supposed to be like a really innovative uh, shooter here. And they all look the exact same as they do today. It's like a timeless piece <laughs> of human, like human uh, history. It's just like the invention of autistic gamers and how they, like I would be surprised, like the only thing that would kind of change from like probably gamers in the 80s is just like how thick the glasses are and how uh, like, you know, what what kind of polo and shorts are they wearing kind of thing. What do you think that guy looks like in 1910 before, you know, pre-during industrialization before you can go buy a in a way, fedora and in a way cargo I think pants. it's I think it's just any scientist. Uh, is, is what is what my mind thinks of. Is what my mind thinks. Yeah, but he's 
but he's still he's still dapper. I mean, you know what I mean? You can't you can't dress like a retard back then. That outfit doesn't exist. What I'm saying is, back in the day, in the early 1900s and stuff, and like even like 1800s, everything was kind of like almost like this Japan esque kind of vibe, where it's like if you didn't do th- like if you didn't do the cultural things everybody was doing, you kind of got outcast. I think you know what I mean. Like you know, in Japan now, it's like. It's like considered impolite to not like go have drinks after work with your coworkers, and if you don't do these kind of like normal social rituals with people, you're kind of outcasted from your work colleagues, and you're kind of it's like looked bad upon. So I think if you it's like did one of those ants that goes bad in a hive, so they like pick it up and carry it off. Yeah, literally though. Just, just... And the, the the and I think that like back then it was like oh if you didn't dress like this, what the fuck is your problem? Like okay, so what you can't like dress normally? You know what I mean? Kind of makes sense. All that kind of stuff. And I think, like... How do you know people are on the same level with you? If, like, if they're not... Well, that's what I mean. It's like, it feels like a very barbaric way of, like, this person is civilized kind of thing. Like, this is a civilized man. This is a good man. How's he dressing? That's... Yeah, that's why you have school uniforms in the UK. Same same principle. How do we know you're a fucking... You're going to conform, right? If you If you're not doing the dress code properly. Yeah. That's why I'm button. That's why I wear my tie loose because I'm not a fucking cog in the machine. No, I am. I am a cog. I'm proud of being a cog. <laughs> I am a cog. <laughs> I, I help the machine function smoothly I, uh, as all things I should. I am an oil gear, turning and turning <laughs> until my piece breaks. You like nice things, don't you? Well, that requires maintenance. <laughs> You are that now, Tom. I, I, I'd see like you were a loose tie kind of kid, for sure. My my friends had to tell me to loosen my tie, literally. Literally, that happened. <laughs> we're not going to be your friend unless you loosen your tie. <laughs> literally, my friends were like, loosen your tie and un- undo your top button, which ironically is also kind of fulfilling the same purpose as the uniforms in the first place, is to check your vibe. The uh, To go back, though, to that GameStop thing from like 2000s, <laughs> ah, yes. The 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 nerds were the same, whatever. It was the midnight release. I, I think it was. What did it, it's like two thousand one. I think it's when the PlayStation Two came out or something. Uh, it was it was at a midnight release in a mall, and like to see a profitable like, I completely forgot what a GameStop was like. Whenever that company had life and was like, <laughs> oh, this is a solved out. This like when it was like the cool company, you know, it was sought after. They had tons of products and stuff, and it's like uh, it was just so. It's so weird looking back on just like companies like that now. Like, I bet it would be the same feeling if you looked at like a Best Buy or all these like weird companies that just became obsolete through like Amazon and all the other kind of shit that happened with the internet and stuff. But yeah, it was just a, it was a really interesting cultural artifact. And it was weird too that the guy, I saw all the comments in the video and the guy's like, this feels like a time traveler from today going back because it's like so weird. Why the, like this guy with a camera was doing like, like recording what you would do use your iPhone for or something. You know what I mean? Mm, it was it's like so vlogging. weird. Yeah. yeah, but like with a with like a camera and he like he just kind of was just observing shit. It wasn't like cinematic really. It was just very like, oh, I just have a camera and I'm walking around. Uh which mm-hmm. I feel it kind like- of starts to illuminate why people used to go to things like hangings. Because nowadays you think like, what well, why the fuck would people go and watch hangings? That doesn't sound like a good time, but that's like the midnight release of the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was, there's also like the thing too of like there was so much more mystique back then. Like I was think I was thinking about it. And I'm like, man, before like, which to be fair, I, I didn't have internet. Like I know a lot of people had um internet and stuff, but like for me, so much of it was like I just like saw like a page from my friend. I borrowed a Game Informer during a class period of like mm-hmm. my friend, and that's like how I got to like read or like look at pictures from a video game or something. And you're like, oh, that looks sick. So then when you would go to the event, like it was like that you had no real expectations besides your excitement for something. And that event within itself, and then being in a line with people who are also excited and kind of have that same kind of like, hey, we hope this is good and cool. Like there there was a sense of like community with that that I think is really cool. I actually think <laughs> losing that in a way may be part of why games suck so much now. Because there's just too many, and it's too spread, and people's attention are too spread. Whereas with Game Informer, it was like a funnel to everybody's intention, attention, you know? And only the most cool shit came through it. And well, then, I, yeah, it's... I wonder the counterthought to that, too, though, is, like, that they were, like, in a way, manipulating what... Like, basically curating the standard of, like, telling you this is good. 
So you have no oh, real for opinion. Sure. Or whatever. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's positives and negatives, but I, I think you just do not... It's just a fact that you don't get, like, iconic properties like that anymore, you know? Everything's yeah. so watered down and self-perpetuating. I think that's there's why whenever very... you see... I think that's, like, why, like, indie stuff is still so... Usually so good is because it taps Yeah, but there's so... Like... The problem is there's so much of it, so there's really good ones, but they never get, like, this... this uh, well, cultural th foothold where yeah. everybody no, knows no, this no. character now right know? right right well, well i think like, like with having 700 tv channels it seems you. like mm -hmm. i think that I, I do i do truly wonder if like the era of like the video game icon things is like we it will never there will never be like there will never uh, there will never ever be a new like character that's as prevalent as mario to ever like come out it's how i feel right i mean like Probably. i don't know fucking fortnite that's yeah, but that's, true. I mean, that's, that's true. a game. It's not a character, though. Yeah, but I guess you, you, know? could, you, you, you could argue like... the aesthetic or the game, though, reaches that kind yeah. of, like, cultural status. What's missing for me, though, is there's no, like, there's no, there's no, like, character to it, and I think that's important, like, as a kid, you know what I mean? Well, it gives it a, like, it gives it a soul or, like, something to, like, look, like, the thing with Mario is people, like, you, you get to, like, feel i get would you say like connected to like mar like mario or like the character or something because i know what you're saying because yeah, you're, sure. pro you're, you're probably it's saying like for you guys insert. it would be like marcus or whatever from like gears of war or something like that yeah exactly or that kind of kratos thing. or master chief you know yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. just don't see those kids and all the all of those were right around the same time and then they had this 20 year staying power and you just don't see that thing any anymore at all like ever no, I think well, people. I, I think guess people for starters, are tired. nobody likes Minecraft? campaigns. Yeah, as I really. say, people people only want the online aspect of things mm -hmm. now. I feel like. What about like Minecraft though? You know. It's it again. Minecraft is like it was a while ago now. Yeah, it's like twenty years old, old by this point, or something like that. Mm, yeah, uh, almost. Overwatch? Not twenty, but still like. I don't think I, I don't think Overwatch has the same kind of like cultural power as like. To me, it seems like. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say Overwatch. I don't fucking know. It's hard to say, and it's also all <laughs> subjective, too, of, like, people's own experiences with their own games and stuff. It feels like very much now the idea of, like, at least from what I've seen, and I'm not a huge gamer, <laughs> to keep that uh, meme alive. The, uh, the, I, I feel like the way people experience games now is, like, Either they just want the online experience for the community of their friends, or with the indie game scene, it's like the feel of a game. Have you noticed that? It's like less about like the aesthetics are good and like the gameplay is like the most important versus like the characters and that kind of thing. If that makes sense. Like I'm thinking of a lot of like uh, arena shooters, like people who are obsessed with like Quake or something. Mm -hmm. You have those kind of like shooters Val or people. Val Valorant or something. Yeah, well, I guess Valorant's Valorant. just CSGO or whatever, right? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm talking... I'm also talking about my ass. I don't fucking know. Your magazine story, your whatever, like, Game Informer shit reminded me. I don't know why, but I remember when I was a fucking kid, and uh, I asked, like... That, did you ever have, like, car magazines? And in the car magazines were just chicks with their tits out? No, it's an English thing. I was always jealous, though. I became aware of that when I was, like, 10. The only thing that we had, or at least in my household, was my mom had a bunch of tattoo magazines, and you got to see girls' tits in that. Oh, that's dope. That's even better. But I just Man, remember, I was like, I asked my dad, I was like, can you give me a car magazine? He's like, you, you, you like you like cars now? Yeah, and for some reason, I, I just instantly cars. No, I instantly crumbled. I'm a crumbled. big I was dog, like, dad. I'm a big, <laughs> big dog. No, I was just instantly crumbled. I was like, no, I just, there's girls with boobies in there. And he was like, okay, well, no. Uh -huh. I was like, okay. Okay, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I I thought you guys had a uh, an analog to Game Informer and there was titties in it. I really thought that. I thought my I thought my dad brought back games like and he was, boobs. Yeah, he That'd brought back. Awesome. You know, he brought That'd back a so magazine sad. from England, and it had like. Um, Why did you say England like it was a, like it's a fairy tale place? You're like England. It England. is a fairy tale place. It is a fairy tale right. place. All right, so carry on. It was it was a game magazine with a bright green cover with huge tits on it. It was awesome, and it, I, I think when you're when you're saying tits too, Don, are you saying like are you talking about like uncensored? You can see the nipple, or is it just like huge cleavage kind of thing? Man, I I think so, but I can't remember. Too I well. don't trust I'm your memory. I'm pretty sure I don't either. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm actually it, in in conjunction with uh, Tom's story about the car magazine. I wonder if there was two magazines, and I've taken them and merged them in my head, <laughs> and I wasn't supposed to see the titty I, one. I literally wonder one. if I, I literally wonder if your dad just grabbed a Game Informer. He just had a Master Chief, like a Halo Two Game Informer, and you're just remembering Master Chief with huge tits or something like that. Now, what blatantly happened is he got one magazine for his boy and one for himself. What your dad went yeah. to England and brought back a fucking. Game game titty magazine. Here you go, Don. What a Jim relic. Did fix it. No. <laughs> Jim did fix it. Huh? Tom? You know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. No. Jim Seville, Jimmy Seville, he had that show back in England. Why do I know this more than you? You grew up in England. Because you're fucking obsessed with freaks and like rapists. No, 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 no. I'm not obsessed. Like, I just oh, love, a documentary I love about watching documentaries. Monster. Love them. Yeah. Watched one the other day on Netflix about some guy who collected Pez dispensers from, uh, from Europe. It was pretty interesting. Truly, truly fascinating. The things you can get in Europe. It is. It's very. <laughs> it's it's very interesting. The amount of things you can get from Europe. But yeah, no. Uh, Jimmy Seville, Jim fixed it. Notorious child, fucking pedophile. Uh, you know, oh, I sure hate that guy. He had a. Uh, Oh, he's How did he the get worst. Caught? What did he do wrong? How did he? Yeah, what was? Yeah, what did he do wrong? What was this? What was the steps he did to, to mess up? Like, what? How did that break down? <laughs> yeah, like if you had to build a house just for that, like, what would you do? How yeah. would you plan that? How did he get away with that for so long? Like, what was the? Like, what would you knock down and like build in instead? He had a show called Jim Jimmy Fixed It or just Jim Fixed It, and he would just like take in letters from children. Uh, it'd be like, oh, I want to, I want to like fly, nice and then he would like, he basically just like they'd write to him, and he would do something, and he gave him a medal called Jim Fixed It, whatever, whatever, dude. Know. You come after the fucking England's heroes. Go ahead, whatever. We've been through worse. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Seville, who are England's saints? Prince, whatever, the guy who was friends with Andrew Epstein. Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile. Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew. And fucking uh, the dude who made that song that's at the end of the Joker that fled. He like lives in Russia now. Dun, 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 dun. I'm pretty sure he's British. We have a long storied history with pedophilia. I will be the first to admit. Hey, what what nation <laughs> doesn't, dude? What nation? That's doesn't? what. That's what. That's what I'm saying. I just thought that who... the callback, I thought that you would enjoy the joke, and it's gone on too long, and I thought that it was going to be a thing where you're like, <laughs> you just did a snarky little, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it I didn't feel happen. like that's all a microcosm for this episode. So it's it's gone on too long, the, the fucking wheels are falling off. Okay, well then let's fucking end it. it. Yeah. I don't think so, I'm having a good time. I mean, I was having a where great did, time too, but I guess yeah. Where you getting you know, all? Where you getting all? Pro we start talking about pedophiles. Okay, England because you because you're coming to for Savile. Because you're coming for the heroes of my country. All right, okay? let's let's put let, let, right, let's, let's, let's put it out there. Let's put it out there. Y'all came for Savile, and I'm a huge Savile fan. I'm a Savile head. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's been done dirty. Yeah, right, thank right. you. Sweet, big dog out. Yeah. <laughs>